Hello my soccer universe, welcome to, and I decided now not to call it Jersey Rent, but Jersey Talk. I actually want to group all my videos where I rent on jerseys, or I generally make some observations like the Puma video, or when the Euro 2000, now <laughs> Jersey were released in 2019 when we had no idea what COVID was, that video, uh, stuff like that, I want to group it in a playlist and call it Jersey Talk. I don't want to make it this too ranty, but um, I saw the German Cup final, I saw the new Leipzig shirt, and there were actually three things that got me to think, is Nike slowly about to lose it a little bit? And before that, I have to say, I think of the three big suppliers, um, Nike, Adidas, and um, Puma, I gotta admit that I think Nike is my favorite uh, and it's really hard to admit because I actually I was not very happy when you know Nike came this upstart but they have been doing really great work especially over the past 10 years yes there was one glaring blunder Euro 2016 and their overall templating everyone there this was one blunder but before that they had already re ready released uh, one of my favorite jer shirts is out there uh, for instance, this Netherlands jersey, this is my favorite Netherlands jersey uh, ever since they switched from Lotto. It's just great. It is wonderful uh, stuff. It, it's very, very simple. And I know uh, the death of a company is to release the same jersey over and over and over again. So I do understand that part. So you need to kind of... Um, switch things up and I read uh, I think in on, on account there is this jersey pendulum where you go one year with a traditional design then you go with a crazy design go just Barcelona uh, look it up there's always uh, they have one striped jersey then they went with the, the hoops then they went again with some stripes then they went with something crazy it always goes back forth back forth back forth uh, so I understand that part However, there are three areas and this Leipzig jersey for, for me is indicative of all three in a certain way that I don't quite get with whatever came, uh, Nike came out with since like 20, uh, yeah, uh, released starting in 2020. Another beautiful one is this one that, that I'm wearing and I actually chose this on purpose for uh, this video. And in a way, Nike is victim of their own success and I think it comes all down to this jersey, uh, where, and I think uh, two of the three features that I want to talk, talk, talk about uh, are present here. I'm talking about, not. I don't want to talk about template pattern or uh, the, the template whatever, I want to say heavy patterning is becoming an issue, I think. Uh, and especially with Nike jer uh, jerseys, although others try to, you know, others uh, uh, to try, try to do something as well. Color is becoming an issue for me and also uh, what to do on the sides, which is not present here, uh, is a little bit annoying. I have to say that this template was actually a, a much improved one uh, over the one they had, had in 2016. I know the color needed to get used to, but I have to say I really like it. Maybe uh, this part here, if it's done nicely, it can work quite, uh, quite well in some uh, ca uh, cases it didn't work. but. The main thing with this one, this was this crazy all over print pattern. And suddenly this jersey became a fashion item. This is probably also why I in the end needed to get one. And I have to say, I need to be a little bit more careful with myself when I see that everyone wants to have a certain jersey. If I don't immediately love it, I probably should stay away from, uh, from it myself. Uh, it's just, as I said, this one, yeah, we have crazy, crazy print. We need to uh, do more with that. And so we got like, um, slowly, slowly, Nike came, came up uh, with, I think there was this uh, Leipzig away jersey that I actually loved. Um, that was one I didn't get, uh, but mainly due to my embargo on live Leipzig jerseys or Red Bull jerseys in general, um, that had also crazy over, over print. And yeah, um, if they stand out, it becomes something special. However, it already came apparent with the latest release of uh, Nike national team jerseys. The new Nigeria jersey, 
I really like that they, it is a little bit more Nigerian flag than this one. Uh, it has also darker green tones. I mean, uh, as great as this one is, the light green is not very Nigeria. Nigeria is actually this color here to me. So um, uh, you have it back there, the, the Nigerian flag. So that I really like, but I think it went a little bit too crazy with the overall pattern, especially towards the bottom. It doesn't make much sense anymore. This was going a little bit overboard. Uh, same with South Korea. Uh, although I really like the tiger stripe jersey, um, to be honest, it gets a little bit much. It does like this trend. It's going a little bit like uh, late 80s, early 90s uh, fashion. We need to be a little bit more overbearing. So crazy patterns all over. And now uh, when I look at the latest releases of, of the club jerseys, the new Chelsea shirt has this weird checker pattern, swirly pattern all over in there. Which to me, uh, if there was, and I maybe there is, and please, if you know, let me know in the conference board. If there's any collect, uh, connection of this pattern to Chelsea, I assume it has maybe something to do with waving flags. That could be. But I have to say, choose one and not split it, split it up. So uh, that is already uh, crazy. Then I, I don't want to talk about the Barcelona jersey because uh, that is an abomination in, in itself. But this Leipzig jersey, I know that Leipzig is uh, a boring template with white shirt and red shorts, uh, white shirt and uh, red shorts. So you want to do something. I think they did it very, very, very well. I think for 16, 17 when they had this patterned, um, was it 17, 18, the patterned uh, shoulders. That actually gave it a little bit special. Uh, last season, I think they largely failed with the side stuff. This season, okay, I see it also with Salzburg. They now uh, got away from the plain white jersey. They had like a striped jersey or they had a half-half, uh, messed up half-half at that uh, jersey. Now they put an all-over print. It literally looks like bloodstains to me. It's not an attractive look. So uh, as good as stuff as Nike is producing, I think this upcoming season is definitely one where we're getting maybe too, especially from Nike, uh, too many out there jerseys. Uh, look at the new Inter jersey. Uh, for for instance, where I like the idea, I don't like the necessary the colors. So yeah, this is some trend that is a little bit worrying because uh, a pattern jersey only is great if it stands out against the rest. If you release all pattern jersey, it doesn't look good. And then you go the PSG route where you basically uh, make a basketball in your uniform. The current PSG shirt doesn't look bad, but it's not to me a PSG uh, jersey. But that's a whole different story. So yeah. That is one thing where I think we're getting a little bit too much into one corner and the pendulum definitely will need to swing back soon to something more uh, traditional again. Second color. So let's go colors. Uh, I love colors like this. I love, I, but I can very well live with a crew neck and I can very well live uh, with a v-neck. Just give me something to try to a traditional. But what they started to do is, that when you look at the crew neck, and I have here the France jersey, which is a nice pattern. This is, Nike still can do great stuff. But what's up with this backside of the collar that suddenly split here? Not a big deal, honestly. But it, it's not a big deal, but I wonder what, why? Why do we have this dip in here? Does it do anything in particular? Uh, I wanna know. But the one that has really been bothering me this season is what I have have, have in this Wolfsburg uh, shirt, the reverse V-neck. I mean, we have it here, that's fine, but come on, what is this? This is, and I, I know you don't see it, but the, the double fold over here on the back, especially this thick fold over, it doesn't look in any way, shape or form very attractive to me. Uh, and I really have to say, I. I'm holding back on slamming immediately. It, take, it took me a year to say that. I may say it in my jersey review vi videos, but this doesn't make much sense to me. I know trying new things, I'm all for it. And some, sometimes you come up with something really good and new, but this one to me is a fail. 
But what's even more, and now we come to side story, well, what's even more a fail to me, and this is on all the Euro 2000 uh, shirts, except for the France jersey, the zigzag. This zigzag is absolutely nonsensical. I know what they try to do. They say, well, if you're in motion, the stripe never looks straight. Okay. If uh, anyone wearing these jerseys is in motion, the only thing when I look at the stripe is I see the zigzag. It doesn't make any sense to me in any shape or form. It creates a weird outline that I don't find either dynamic or in any way uh, appealing. Is it just me? But this is some. This is the stuff where I think Nike is starting uh, getting a little bit too much ahead, ahead ahead of themselves. Yes, Nike always has initially been pushing, but then they try they went through this pleasing phase where they really put a great shirts, then they're pushing again with all template. Then they roll it, they roll it back, and now they come up with crazy stuff again. It is ah, uh, and especially this size striping ball 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 bothers me the weird color that they come up with and I'm, I'm just waiting for the next thing to arise um and especially the overuse of heavy pair patterning as on leipzig as on uh inter for instance um it gets a little bit too much i like my jerseys to be out there especially if they are for non-traditional teams but yeah but uh, bef before slamming Nike, I also have to uh, praise them. We just saw the Frost jersey. They also come up with beautiful stuff like this. I have to give the last, uh, I have to give credit with Nike on that. I also think that Nike is really trying hard, to, uh, especially for the national to not have a template pushed on them. They, I think I heard that they got rid of tab tab templates. We have just components that everyone can pick and choose. And then you get basically the, sh the shirt front as a canvas. Uh, to put on there whatever you like and I think that is a good direction. So uh, it is not all bad Just a few things that I would like were different So let me know what you think about especially the latest Nike releases or this general trend of Nike Let's say it's since 2020 Give me a thumbs up enjoyed this video leave a comment below, please uh, Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!